Today I'm going to talk about the 5 star FSA 5828 UHF VHF bow tie antenna. Stay tuned. on Amazon. It includes a J-Pole. Uh, right now the price is about $76 and some change. Um, also came with a coupon, so not too bad. Um, so it says it has a 200 mile range. We'll, we'll see about that. So, without further ado, let's open it. It has 180 degrees worth of uh, reception. It'll obviously be better if you point it at where the where the tower is. Degrees. Hmm. Included some coaxial. It's awesome that this came with it. Oh. That looks like the booster. Yep. Get it put together. Assembly wasn't too difficult. Would have been better if I didn't put the backing on backwards. Um, the directions, they were in black and white. They could have been a little better, but it was very easy to misplace or uh, to miss the fact that the holes were in the front, which was necessary for these plastic supports for the front arrays. Besides that, easy. If I uh, if I noticed that, I, I can see this being less than 15 minutes. All right, so I'm outside now. I already have my antenna set up. What I have is, uh, I'll show you right here. Oh, hey, kitty. Hey. 
<laughs> Come to help me? So, I already have it set up with uh, a bow tie. It's a channel master up on top, and I'll put it put it in the comments. Um, it's a great antenna. Um, the one below it, also very good antenna. It's a Yagi, it's a General Electric. Not very expensive. The, uh, the Channel Master up on top, that was about $200. Whereas the uh, Yagi, right below it, that was about $45. Um, differences, just so you know, uh, the bow ties, they, they do bring in UHF and VHF. Uh, Yagi, just UHF. And it's uh, also extremely directional. Um, it's great at picking up at distances, but it's, it's very specific to the direction of wherever the tower is. So that's just something to keep in mind if you ever decide to use that. Um, in my case, I want to try to use two bow ties. Um, hoping that by having it kind of general in direction and uh, the ability to pick up uh, VHF, that I'll get uh, more channels in the direction I need. Um, I already determined that the direction that I need to go in is where that one Yagi is pointing, and that's the Yagi is the one that I'm going to replace. So let's do it. What? Stop it. So we got the antenna set up. I went ahead and came back inside. I have the uh, HD Home Run app set up on my computer. And what you see here is the two different HD Home Runs. This is the app and it's within the settings screen. And the Duo, I believe, is the one that I have connected to the new antenna. So let's give it a scan and see what we got. Now I do expect some overlap of some of these channels. Um, the 
bow tie antennas have a tendency to pick up a, a large array of different uh, channels, especially uh, you know if they're relatively close to where you live. So what I do with the HD Home Run is if there's any overlap, I uh, pick which one is pointed at the corresponding tower and I unselect and I'll show you when I get the opportunity here I'll show you how to unselect the antenna that's not pointed at that tower to get priority so you can see some overlap here so both are picking up you know channel 8 I want to deselect the connect 4k for those also a channel 10 because we don't want any repetition here so all of these are pointed at the correct station cross those out let's get fox crossed out and that's what we got all right so let's see how it does so these are the Buffalo stations. See how CBS looks. Well, it seems like the video quality is great. The only thing I'm disappointed on was I, I wanted... Let me, uh, let me mute that. A little disappointed because I didn't bring in channel 6. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll show you guys what I do in order to bring in uh, the best signal possible. Alright, so here we are with TV Fool. This is uh, the best website for you to try to find out where to get your signal or where to point your antenna. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put in a random address that I grabbed off Zillow. <laughs> so, no, I don't live here. You just uh, put in your address, Williamson, New York, and then your optional antenna height. I'd recommend that you put that in, um, especially if you plan on putting your antenna in outside. Um, it'll tell you generally how strong the signal will be based on your antenna height. So I'm estimating that my pole is maybe 30 feet. It's probably less, but if I hypothetically had a pole at this address, this is what I would put in. And here's what it gives you. It gives, a, it gives you the strength and the direction of the antennas. So if I were living at this address, I would probably point my, direct, my antenna in the direction of these channels here and probably in this direction as well I might even get a third if I want to spend the money you know for channel 6 and 2 and 26 the nice thing is, is you can also see what channels are UHF and what are VHF there's actually a number at this location that are VHF if, if it wasn't 
if there weren't any uh, VHF, I might actually just buy a UHF type antenna, not worry about it. VHF is the old school. Um, UHF is where they're all transitioning. Uh, so eventually, I anticipate VHF be gone. Um, but what I would do is, first I'd check out the channels, check out how strong they are, what direction, and then um, I would probably download an app on my phone or use an actual compass and determine the direction that these antennas need to point. And then there's a little bit of science to it, but there's also a lot of art. Uh, signals can do funny things. Uh, if you got, you know, a house in the way, a bunch of trees, a building, uh, something that reflects, you know, the signal, it can, it can throw it off. Um, so some of it, it's going to require some tinkering on your part. But yeah, uh, TV Fool, it's great. I'll uh, also put that in the comments. Um, I'll put the antenna that I'm using in the comments. Um, the other antenna that I have for the other HD home run, uh, I am using a wine guard booster on that one uh, to pull in the channels from Buffalo. For me, Buffalo are more of an edge uh, range. So you can see here uh, 24 and 19 that was probably the strength that I had for those Buffalo channels um, it wasn't very strong but the fact that I had a large antenna that I had a booster um, and I put it outside you know at a good height I was able to pull those in and I'm able to pull them in with relatively uh, little relatively little you know pixelation or anything usually when I get the pixelation and let me go back to it and just show you. When I get that pixelation, you know, it's probably because it's a really bad storm or the wind's blowing hard. I mean, look at this picture. It's beautiful. And it's probably on the edge for me. Um, again, I that was the Channel Master. Um, I don't recall the exact model, but I'll put that in the comments as well. So, I hope some of this was useful um, if there's any questions you can throw it in the comments I'm Dennis your local IT guy have a good one